Hello and welcome everyone to today's tutorial. So this tutorial is brought to you by MQ server. We are currently the India's number one Minecraft server. So on the server everybody is having issue with the chess shop. So today I am going to resolve all your issues uh, with this tutorial. So let's get started with this tutorial alright. Uh, so first things first, uh, there are three ways by which you can uh, fix the chess shop issue. So first of all, uh, let me put down three chests and you will be needing signs okay, and the items. Uh, first box I will flip the glass, alright, and the second box I will flip the glass, and uh, for the third box I will do with the enchanted book. I'll show you how to do this. Okay, for the first box, uh, not like that. Sorry, my bad. Uh, first, what you have to do is uh, fill in the items that you want to sell. Okay, now shift click, uh, right click, and uh, in the first line, always write your username. Uh, then on the second line, what you have to write is the amount that you want to sell. For me, I will sell 32 and you have to mention the buying price, so I will do like this. Then you have to put a colon and you have to mention the selling price, which will be 50. Alright, then you have to write the entity name. Uh, for class, I know it's GLSS in a small case. And if when you hit OK, you can see that it you will get something like this. Okay, It means the shop has been created successfully. Uh, now, uh, to know your entity names, what you have to do basically is you have to press F3 plus H and you'll get this tool tips. Now what you can do is uh, hover over any of the uh, items that, uh, for example, this bucket. So you can see it's written Minecraft uh, colon water bucket. So in, uh, under the entity name, you have to write water underscore bucket for it to work. Okay. Uh, and for enchanted books, there's a technique that I'm going to show you in the second solution. For the second thing, what you have to do is again, my bad. Again, what you have to do is open the chest, uh, fill in the items. Then what you can do is uh, place the signboard same as above and write your username. Then uh, same quantity. Then you have to mention the buying price. Then you have to mention the selling price. Then what you have to do is put a question mark. It will automatically detect the entity and it will rename it. See, it did it automatically. Uh, that's one way. And uh, for the third way, what I have to do is uh, let me show you this one how to do for enchanted books and stuff. It applies for everything, but uh, especially for enchanted books, what you do is uh, do the same thing, same procedure. Then, uh, the next line, mention the quantity, then you have to mention the buying price, uh, then you have to mention the uh, selling price, which should be 100, and put question mark. Okay, uh, now done. Now it, the box doesn't know what the item is inside. So what you have to do is uh, take your book and click on it and see you get the uh, this tag. It automatically detects what thing you are going to sell. Now you can just open the box and put your stuff and your shop is ready. And that way you can do it for class also. It can be anything. Just to hit the question mark like, like I've shown you earlier and it should fix. Okay, so hope this helps you guys and um, Thanks for watching. And one more issue that um, uh, players have been asking me about this thing on the right hand side, this MG1 profile, ghost test and all. It's called uh, Featherboard. To remove that, what you have to do is uh, just uh, hit this command, Featherboard, uh, the last command, and uh, space off. You can do this and it will get removed. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope this helps.